Okay, now in this video, we're going to attempt to do a motor swap on this steel chainsaw. That's a strong emphasis on attempt. All right, well today we're gonna to try to get my old chainsaw running. You know, uh, out here on the homestead, we go through quite a bit of firewood, probably four or five cords um, every season. And well, you're dependent on your chainsaw. And this one was my main saw. It was only a couple years old when it stopped working. Um, you could actually see it in the video where we first drive the bus out of the forest and I had to cut down a tree. Um, during that scene, the saw, lost all power and stopped running at that point. Luckily I was able to get the tree cut down but uh, it hasn't ran since and I need to get this running. Um, it pretty much lost all compression. After doing some uh, diagnosing um, we came to the conclusion that it has no compression and so we started pulling it apart. Um, my neighbor helped me and looking through the exhaust port you could uh, look at the cylinder wall and the piston and kind of see what's going on. Uh, well, let me show you. I'll see if we can get a flashlight in there and see if you can see what's happening. All right, we got it partially disassembled already. I don't know if you'll be able to see in there. Um, we'll do our best here. All right, well, I'm looking in the exhaust port there and it's uh, kind of blurry in there, but that is the back of the cylinder wall. Um, that you can see back there. The phone's not really picking it up on its camera, but there's some grooves there. And then as I rotate it, or try to here, um, and bring that piston up, you kind of take a look at that. Uh, now check it out, guys. That piston has got... Sorry. That piston is full of grooves. Now I thought maybe I overheated it, because the chain was dull but usually if it's overheated there's a bunch of discoloration I thought this one's just got vertical grooves going up and down the cylinder and the piston and now there's no compression maybe it was a bad mix on the fuel well regardless whatever the issue is that motor is junk so what I did since we're on a tight budget I ordered the cheapest motor off of Amazon it's the complete rotating assembly, um, probably made in China, and still here in the package. Uh, we just got this uh, a while back. Um, so I'm hoping to do a motor swap on this chainsaw and get it running again. I uh, also bought a new chain and a new plug for it. Um, now this is the first time I've done this, but uh, we've already started by partially disassembling it. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish disassembling this and trying to do a motor swap and see if we can't get this saw running today. So let's go. Okay, I could start by opening this up and taking a closer look. Yeah, this is only $39 off Amazon. Looks a lot better than the one that's in there now. So let's get this thing apart. I'll just start tearing it down, I guess. All right, here we go.
All right, got it all disassembled and started cleaning it up. Uh, hopefully, I get it all put back together. I'm going to probably have to go back and refer to the video to make sure I get it all back together right. You know, I'm first time I've ever done this. Uh, you know, other than just minor tune-ups and stuff, I've not gone this deep into a chainsaw. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish cleaning these parts up and kind of organize this area. And we'll get ready to reassemble it. All right, I got everything laid out here and uh, fairly cleaned up, ready for reassembly. Wish me luck. And we're done with this old motor. And there's the new one going in. All right, let's go. Alright, got it all reassembled. Now I think the camera cut out a little bit there at the end, so I don't know if we caught it all, but you know, I got through it. There was a couple things I had to go back and take back apart to fix uh, something I'd missed and then continued on, but uh, we got her all. Now I'm going to mix up some fresh uh, fuel and put some uh, bar oil in there and we're going to try to start it. Alright, let's give it a try. Well, she almost did. I'm gonna set the choke again. Switch it down one level. Well. her off on accident here. Alright, well you know the true test is going to be how it cuts wood. So let's try that. We're just giving her a little test run, uh, making sure she's not getting them too hot. Make sure the chain's getting oiled. All right, looking good, let's continue.
All right. Now, I wouldn't say it's good as new, but it's cutting. Um, should be able to get us through the season. And, uh, well, we're going to be putting it to the test soon. So we'll see how it works in the long run. Now, that's it for this video, guys. Now, if you're new to this second channel of mine, please hit that subscribe button, guys. we got a lot more homesteading videos on the way. Um, I love you all. And until next time, peace.